Spider-Man! Yes, we have our first trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming. And this trailer has actually given us a lot to talk about. It's a nice, fat, juicy trailer. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this. The first scene in the trailer, these guys are robbing a bank. They're wearing these, you know, really cheesy plastic Avengers masks. They're using some sort of weird alien tech. At first I was like, it might be something from like item 47, like something left over from the Chitauri attack, but this might be something completely different. I don't know. In any case, Spidey shows up. He's just hanging out there by the door. He's like, Sup guys? And then in classic Spider-Man fashion, he's like, wait a minute, you're not the real Avengers. See, the Hulk gives it away, and then he proceeds to beat the shit out of these guys. So right there, it lays any fears he had about the humor to rest, because they nailed it. Spidey humor is a must if you're doing a Spider-Man movie, and they got it right. Of course they got it right. It's Marvel Studios, they're working on this. And then it shows Peter Parker in high school and his best friend, Ned Leeds, not Harry Osborn, pretty much reliving my high school experience, because there was a girl I liked in high school, and I would just spend nutrition, like, staring at her. And so that's what he's doing. They're staring at Liz Allen. I like they're doing Liz Allen now, First we had Mary Jane, then we went to Gwen Stacy, now let's do Liz Allen. It's like a different love interest for every Spider-Man franchise. You notice that one blonde girl behind Liz Allen that's rocking the headband, you're like, is that Gwen Stacy? Probably not, but you know they did that shit on purpose. They're like, let's just put this headband on this blonde chick and make people think it's Gwen Stacy. But Liz Allen, you know, was like the main love interest in this film. And then after that, you see Michelle played by Zendaya. There was a rumor going around that she's going to be playing Mary Jane, and I was like, okay, she would be fine as Mary Jane as long as she had the red hair. But right now, I'm really convinced that she's not gonna be Mary Jane. She's just gonna be playing their classmate, Michelle. And Zendaya here looks pretty different than how I'm used to seeing her. The way she kind of looks down on them like, you guys are losers. I think she's actually gonna be a friend of theirs because she's been described as like kind of the closed off smart chick. So I think those three are gonna be kind of like the trio, kind of like a Harry Ron Hermione type thing. One thing that kind of bugged me about this trailer, bugged me, <laughs> no pun intended, is that you see him watching Civil War footage on his laptop, my friend and I were watching this trailer and my friend was like, who shot that footage? And I was like, Holy crap, good point. Footage at the beginning of Civil War where they show the casualties of all the past, like, climactic battles, that made sense because they're a civilian shot, you know? Those battles were in public places, so it made sense. But in Civil War, that airport was evacuated, so who was shooting that footage? There was no one with a camera shooting the whole thing there. I hope they explain that. However, one thing in this trailer that totally rocks is the Vulture. Michael Keaton is playing the Vulture in this film, the main villain, and this Vulture looks really different from the Vulture I know. And my friend and I had a really lengthy discussion about the look of this Vulture because there's, it's really different. He's wearing an aviation mask with a tube, so like maybe he was ex-military or something. He's got the glowing green eyes, which to me kind of makes him look robotic, but I love the look of his wings. I love the look of the talons. That was probably my favorite thing about the Vulture's new design. I love the talons. I think Vulture might kick a lot of ass in this film, but he might not be the only villain here because you see a couple of other guys. First of all, you see Donald Glover for a split second, and there was a rumor going around that he might be Miles Morales. Nope, he's not gonna be Miles Morales, no. And the guy next to him, my friend and I were like, is that Shocker? We know Shocker's going to be in this film because the set photos showed that Shocker's gonna be in this film. And if you look at his sleeves, you know, they got the yellow and checkered design just like Shocker. Plus the weapon he's using, that's... That's probably Shocker. Our guess is that he's probably gonna be in only like one scene, probably at the beginning, kind of like Rhino in the beginning of Amazing Spider-Man 2, where he's gonna be like one bad guy he takes down at the beginning to kind of establish, you know, Spider-Man in this movie. Another thing I really loved in this trailer is you see the web wings. Seeing those, I was like, that is hearkening back to the original OG Spider-Man design way back in the 60s when he was first created. And I like how they made them look here. It looks metallic, you know, it looks like it's made out of a certain material. I'm talking really fast. Like in the comics, you know, it looks like it was actually like a web or like a fan type thing. Here it actually looks like it makes sense, like it actually comes from the lining in the suit. I hope these web wings are not just in one scene though, I want to see them a lot. Because I was actually never a huge fan of those web wings, I was like, that in the armpit, like that's a weird, it's kind of a dumb design. But here in this movie, I think they look pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna want to see them a lot. So the trailer's going on, it gets to the end, he's holding a boat, kind of like the train scene in Spider-Man 2, where he's like, oh my god, and you see the Statue of Liberty behind him. Then it gets to the title, you're like, oh this is awesome, and then the trailer's like, okay, we know you saw Robert Downey Jr. earlier here. They had some really good dialogue and they actually have really good chemistry you saw that back in civil war but i was wondering for a while i was like i wonder what robert downey jr is going to do in this film besides play the mentor like he's gonna have to be iron man at some point right and the trailer is like dude andy chill we got you covered because the last shot you see here is spider-man and iron man flying to the destination i was like oh my god that is awesome it's spider-man and iron man these are like pages from comic books finally becoming reality here i mean granted that's what's been happening for the past like eight years i'm just saying though it's spider-man he's one of my favorite superheroes of all time spider-man is the first superhero i ever saw on the big screen so i really have no choice but to make a big deal about this shit because holy shit this movie this is not only one of my most anticipated movies of next year but it's one of my most anticipated movies in the mcu it's pretty much just one of my most anticipated movies 
in a while. It's Spider-Man back where he belongs with Marvel. He's homecoming. That's what that means. It's double meaning there. And they're gonna do him justice because it's Marvel and I have faith in them. So the very first trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming. Have you seen it? And what do you want to say about it? Whatever you want to say, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. He's got the glowing green eyes, which to me kind of makes him look robotic. Robotic. <laughs>